Yes, I have been asked um, several times this week alone on how to use a smaller camera, um, such as the little portables, um, the little one-shot uh, point-and-shoot smaller cameras. This happens to be a 14 megapixel, which gives me high resolution. And uh, the ability to zoom in on the pixels once I do take the pictures to um, crop out what I don't want and basically keep what I want. In most cases, I do get very nice pictures and I don't need to crop very much at all. Um, using this accessory, which is um, it's actually a mount, a mount that I use onto my lens. They make many, many different types of these. Um, it doesn't matter who makes them as long as it adapts well and uses it and they all look a little bit different it seems like so uh, there are many different types this is the one that I like the best due to the fact that it gives me the ability to pinwheel as you can see that pinwheel is nice and gives me an excellent uh, excellent ability to stay within focus at all times for if I'm looking at forest ground or birds or bird watching or whatever I happen to be using this camera mounted to the telescope for. This type is called digiscoping and you can see other web pictures on the internet and explains further in detail how to do this. This is kind of an overview on how to do it. Um, basically what happens is you just mount the camera to this particular platform on this accessory and you dial it by the controls up and down. Uh, they make some of them that uh, it just basically slides over the lens and screws down on the lens and the camera screws onto that. But I don't like anything clamping on my lens because I don't really like the idea of burning the clutches out in my camera. Um, that's my personal, my personal idea of it. Um, other than that, I guess it's up to you. If I, I don't know which one is cheaper. I just buy the one that I like the best. And this happens to be the one that I like the best. And hopefully this helped you some today. See, we just backed it off to show you what it looks like. But when it is zoomed in, you see what it looked like there a moment ago. Then basically you get it set in and you just basically snap the picture. It's nicer on some of the larger cameras actually have a remote trigger. I usually use what's called the timer. That way I don't bump the telescope. And I set it for 2 seconds or 10 seconds or however long that I want it to go and I set back and that way I don't bump the telescope and I get better, truer shots. Hopefully this helped you today and um, answered some of the questions. Here's kind of the overview as we turn this here. It kind of lets you see what it looks like. Hopefully this helped you. You can see the mount is uh, pretty resilient. This one, particular one is. Hopefully this helped you. Oh, it looks like today you get to see some of the studio today. <laughs> Okay, hopefully it's helped you, and um, if you have any more questions, don't be scared to post them, and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you very much for your time, and uh, have a wonderful day.